guys, welcome back to Retro Rivals. Today we're going to talk about Pandora's Toy Box. This is the 3D version. Um, it was the newest version when I bought it, but they have since come out with a 3D Wi-Fi because of course they did. Yes. And uh, yeah, we got this not that long ago. It was l less than a month ago. It was like... Well, I don't know when you bought it, but it was for my birthday. Yeah. My birthday uh, was first week of March. I feel like we have had some people over on the 7th of March. Yes. And I it was crunch time. The shipping got delayed because of Corona. And... Yeah, so I didn't know if we were going to get it in in time. I just kept thinking, oh my god, this is not going to get here for your birthday. But I got here like the 3rd or the 4th of March. Yeah. Yeah. You still haven't really told me how much you paid for this thing. It was 350 taxes in. Oh, like, oh, total? Yeah, there was no tax on it. I did... Canadian dollars. Yes. I did get a customs charge. It was only, oh, yeah? only 20 some dollars. It wasn't bad, Still. so. Yeah, um, I could have went with other models of this. <clears throat> I could have went, because there was downgraded models that had way less games. There was a 1600 games. I wanted the newest one I could get. And also I could have went to different sources to get it, but this is authentic. It uh, has the proper motherboard. There's no fake motherboard in it. From what I could gather with the research I had to do online to figure this out, that this was the legit one, and I got it. I mean, they all come out of China, but I got this from a Canadian company, and it's Pandora's Toy Box.ca. So I just. I, you felt more secure buying it from a Canadian company? I did. There was also some warranty on it <clears throat> and stuff, like manufacturer defect and, and such, so. I just felt like at least that would be kind of like a safeguard if something happened or if it arrived damaged or something, yeah. then I would have that as an option to be like, hey, you damaged. What's your damage? What's your damage? Yeah. So the main reason I think why you got this is because I was talking about possibly mm -hmm. getting one. I was talking about getting one right around Christmas time because these things go on sale typically around Christmas time, around the holidays. But the thing is, you were looking on Amazon for these? Uh, I've seen it on a few yeah. few sites. I don't know if Wish was one of them, but those kind of well, that's the problem. sites and stuff like that. And on I think they're probably those, knockoffs. That's the problem. Yeah. I didn't want to get a knockoff. A friend that follows us on YouTube, Scotty J Retro, and he has a Pandora's box. Now, I don't know if his is legit or not, but it's broken. He said he played it a few times and it broke. broke. So he was hoping that uh, we didn't have well, the same bad luck. I hope, yeah, I hope we yeah. <laughs> That would be a lot of money. So we should basically talk about our first impressions of this. Yeah. We we have some game capture. Well, we have quite a bit of game capture, actually. We do. And this is probably the... F oh, I must have played it about a half a dozen times now. Yeah. Our so, friends played it too. They really enjoyed yep, it. Yep. I had Mike over. We had Phil over. Dennis played it. You know, I've, I've played it like at least half a dozen times. The main reason why I wanted one of these, I think, is because Arcade 1UP and then At Games has their own version of the arcade. I think it's called Legends or something like that. Yeah. And I really thought about getting one of those. Um, as far as Arcade 1UPs, they're small. But I still don't have yeah. enough space to put as many games as I actually want to have on an arcade. I mean, truthfully, we could stick it somewhere, but then it's in front of something else. Because I don't Just, want to have stuff piled on top of stuff. We enjoy our game room. Yeah. But we don't want it to get cluttered to the point where, like, I don't want to go down there. Yeah. So, the idea was, well, I, I love having it. I love the idea of having an arcade mm -hmm. machine. But I don't have the space to have a full-size arcade machine. No. So, I looked at possibly the At Games Legends because it's yeah. quite a few games, and you can add games to it. And 
Well, that's one of the reasons I didn't want you to get an arcade one up. It's very limited to what because it's what just it that one game. Well, or it two usually comes with three games. I think. Oh, okay. It usually come with three games, depending on what they are. Yeah. And um, I thought about building my own, but still, I just don't have the room to put yeah. a full-size arcade machine down here. Yeah. So the plan, I finally came up with the plan, is that I'll get one of these, and I will build a collapsible cabinet. Yes. That it'll stand up at the right height as an arcade machine and we'll play it on my big screen here and this gives you more space on either side too oh, a little yeah. bit more space like it's a little bit longer a little I guess, wider than wider. one up yeah. yeah yeah those one up machines are pretty tiny and our plan with the um the cabinet that you'll build for this and it being collapsible that maybe it'll hang up on the wall somewhere and yep. be a piece of artwork because so you cause... just enjoy to make me work yeah can't even finish <laughs> that thing i can't finish that thing what, i need to what, what are you doing <sighs> I'm trying. Like... it takes hours and hours of painting shush you don't even have a watch on <laughs> so how many games are on this uh 2448 2,448? Yes. Some 3D. Plus, yeah. yeah. There's not, not a huge no. amount of 3D games. No. I don't um, even know what we would do with a 3D game. Like, yeah. we, we counted the emulators that are on it. So, there are 12 emulators on this. Yes, sir. And there's two that are just arcade emulators. Yes. The main one is MAME. Everybody yes. plays that. It's the one I'm typically... Yeah, uh, it's the one, the one I'm, I'm used familiar to. with, too. Yes. And then this, the other one is Final Burn Alpha. Final Burn Alpha. We had Alpha. to look that up because we're like, I didn't know what it was. VA? That was the only one I didn't know what it was. Yeah. There's, okay, there's those two. Then there's PlayStation One. Yeah. PSP. PSP. Um. Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance. Game, Game Boy, Boy Color. Color. N64. Sixty-four. Famicom. Super, Super Famicom, Famicom. Mega Drive. Dreamcast. What's that last one? May end up having to pop it up. PC Engine. PC Engine! Good job! Yeah. I would have forgot Mega Drive and PC Engine. But when so, it said came up PCE, I knew it was PC Engine. Yeah. Were you impressed? <laughs> I was. Yeah. So the over 2400 games, 12 emulator yeah. emulators on there. Plus you can add games to those emulators. I'm the only thing I have questions to our I wonder if Super Famicom it, the emulator if Super Nintendo games will work on it because Ooh, that would be cool that's the only problem I have with a lot of the games that are on this there are, there's a lot of them that are Japanese yeah so if I want to go play a cool RPG yeah you, you know it's on to... Super Famicom there it's in Japanese I don't know what the hell it is exactly you know? But, the, exactly. you know, like, those games are, if you get a physical copy of that, in a, like, Super Nintendo version of it, it was, yeah. they're expensive. Yeah, you exactly. Know, Chrono Trigger. You know? Oh my god, don't even get me started on yeah. that. I did want to mention that you'll notice so the skin on the uh, front of this. Mm -hmm. There was several different skins to choose from. This one just seemed obvious. <clears throat> To get <laughs> and uh, you could custom design a skin so I could have got a custom design like maybe even a retro rival skin and made one the problem okay. with that was I was you don't I really know what they look like till you get it yes and I wasn't yeah. sure if they would check for resolution or if it would come out all pixelated and disgusting and then I'm stuck with it so I'm like, where they have already mapped out, okay, this is this. Yeah. That's what that looks like. I yeah. know it's going to be good. Uh, that's what I'm going to get. Yeah. So that's what I did. There are games on here that you can play four player game. And obviously there's only two sticks. Exactly. But you can hook uh, PlayStation 3 controllers up to the USB on and the back. And there's two USB ports on the back. Yes. Now, I haven't gotten a chance to try how it works, but in the manual it shows that it's one USB 2.0, but you need a splitter. I don't know how that works exactly. Well, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I can show you in the manual exactly where that is. Yeah. 
You see the controllers? We'll have to take a picture of that we'll so take a, everybody yeah. else can see too. It's got them all going through one hub. Even here, see? Yeah, I see they, that. They go through a splitter and they go in the back and it makes it four player. <clears throat> I did. I haven't had a chance to try that because I honestly don't have it a does, splitter that would work. We ch I tried the one that was in the True Blue Mini and it just wouldn't register it. It does show that you can hook it up to a PC. We didn't and hook it up to a PC. No, no. but I uh, plugged it into the PlayStation 3 because yeah. that was another feature in the manual that it said that you can use this arcade stick on the PS3 on like say if As you a had yeah. see if you had a uh, Street Fighter or something like that you want to play with yeah. the six button controller arcade stick you know I can tell you I, I don't have Street Fighter on my PS3 but I did have Injustice now the button mapping there was wonky and I struggled immensely yeah. <laughs> playing the game but as soon as I plugged it in it registered. I didn't have to set anything up. It just exactly. literally just plugged it into the USB port on the PS3, and it worked. Exactly. It was so. yeah. It was plug and play wise. Yep. It was really good. It just went right on. You can get um, audio out of this as well. So that was we did we did try that for a little bit. We just yep. turned it on to see what it looked like or just sounded little, like. There's speaker little internal yeah. speaker it's not great there. yeah crap, you're better you know, off so. your tv for sure yeah so we blew we we sent the sound to the our surround sound system yeah here and it worked a lot better oh yeah caution if you do buy one of these the uh loading screen is super yeah. loud it's a little louder than yeah the gameplay yeah so itself. don't turn it up where you're gonna play the game <laughs> turn it down first then turn it up after the loading yeah. screen because Alex almost <laughs> died down here one day when you guys tried it. <laughs> yes, I turned it on because the loading screen, it's like, da -da, da -da, da -da, and it come on and it was blasting. I don't know what I was playing before that. I don't know if it was a movie or a game or something. I <laughs> had my surround sound up quite loud and Alex is like, oh my God, and I'm like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I don't know, made me laugh. <laughs> it's also a VGA. Yeah, I never, I never tried it. No, but it's cool though that if you want to play it on an older a monitor. Yeah. Yeah. That it, you have that, or if you wanted to set it up as a monitor to make your own. If arcade, you want to make your own arcade. Yeah. I would assume it would work pretty flawlessly. Yeah. I'm surprised how user friendly it is. Yep. Actually, I agree. The M30 2.4 gig. Um, Sega Genesis Mini controller works. Yeah. Button mapping is ugh, the button map is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, my start button was over here, and these were all kind of like backwards, so I couldn't. Like your hands right now. Yeah. Um, so I did try the SN30 Pro, but I used the dongle that you know, I would use for the uh, PlayStation Classic. Oh, for the PlayStation Classic. And it wouldn't register it. And I also tried controllers, just regular USB controllers that I would put in the computer, like a PlayStation style controller. Didn't register. Yeah, it wouldn't register. It only registered PlayStation 3 controllers. Now, but you could use your PlayStation 3 wireless controller. No. Though those aren't. Well, you're talking about, I'll grab one here. Yeah. Okay, well, it's like an Afterglow third-party controller. Yes. Yeah, my yeah. A, my <clears throat> my Afterglow th third-party has a USB dongle, and I plugged it in, and it worked. It worked. Yeah, that's it awesome. It worked fine. I didn't notice any lag. So, but if you were to use your PlayStation 3 controller, you're going to have to leave it wired. Yes. So, yeah. But yeah, that worked. So there's two wireless options that we found. That's and just maybe what I there's, have. Maybe there's more. I'm we sure don't there's know. more. Yeah. I don't. I don't know why this one worked, but the other dongle didn't work. I don't understand that. Well, part. that's beyond me. That's true of everything on even with the minis. You can only use yeah. certain ones and certain ones, and I don't know how. But, but I was actually shocked that this turned on. I, I was too. I was too. Plugged it in too. there, and then I just hit the D-pad, and it worked. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <That was really laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, what else did we play there besides your Pac-Man and your Donkey Kong? And I tried Toy Story 2. Well, I think that's just the game itself. Talk about there. that. Yeah. yeah, it was just the game itself, but it was a little odd as well. The button mapping. Same. It always comes down <clears throat> to the button mapping. Yeah, yeah. Because but. you're using the place. You're using the 
PS3 controller to try to map a N64. Exactly. That thing is just... I tried Donkey Kong Country Jr. That was a <clears throat> little difficult, but that might have just been me not having played it for a while. I We have it for the Atari. We need to play it on the Atari. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I'm trying. We've played so many. Oh, you tried Dreamcast. one with the screen tearing. That yes. was yeah. That was a Dreamcast Street Fighter game. Now it plays fine, controls play everything, but you'll so it's just the you'll, emulation. It's like yeah, the emulation's weird. The emulation was weird on a couple of games here and there. Uh, I noticed it more on sound. It was yeah, sound you get some always crinkly hard. sounds. Yeah, it was a couple of games it was kind of like a really kind of popping kind of sound going yeah. on yeah. and uh but there's a couple of games where the emulation the graphics were a little wonky it mm -hmm. was a little just a little bit of screen i don't i don't know if i call it screen tearing but it was weird yeah it didn't work you know you could play the game fine but it just didn't look right yeah exactly oh. exactly oh. but it's emulation that's what you're gonna get i still think and i'm not saying this because i already spent the money on it but i still <clears> think it's worth the buy because I would tell people to wait for it to go on sale. Yeah, try to see if yeah. you can wait for it to go on sale. But the problem is people are touting that it's the original versions on certain sites when it's not. Or making you... Like, yeah. they'll they'll say whatever and then Pandora's box. No, it's not yeah. a Pandora's box. It's your version of a Pandora's, oh, Pandora's box. box. It's not... They're, they're taking this to be what this is called and not the brand name. And the brand is Pandora's Box. So, Pandora's Toy Box. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. There's a lot of... You've really got to do some research and dig around. I even asked Denver Gamer about it if he knew much about it. And he was like, that would be a really cool gift. But he wasn't sure. But yeah, I just well, I kept I, digging and digging and digging. When, you, sure. when you deal with emulators, it's all a little bit sketchy. I just wanted to make sure I got yep. the a, a good motherboard in it. I didn't want to get yeah. something cheap yep. that was going to fry out. And What's in it? You know? I didn't really do any technical specs on it. I just knew that it was an authentic motherboard. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, would I would have would I have spent that much money on it myself? But no, it was a gift. So. That's what I tell her. I, I say, if you're going to get me something, get me something that I would normally get myself, and I would not have spent that much money on this myself. Yes, and I knew that, and that's why I bought it. <clears throat> yeah. But it is really cool, especially the arcade emulation and the amount, just the, the amount of arcade games that are on this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'll never play all of them or never have a chance oh, to go through gosh, them all. Oh gosh, no. No, so this the ones I know I'll try. And then you even tried a one, I can't remember what it was called, that was that spaceship one. And it was, oh, and it was really yeah, cool. Games I've never really even cool. heard of it there. It was like a Robotech knockoff kind of thing. Yeah. It looked awesome. I just know we have a lot of friends over. Not right now, but we do have friends <laughs> yeah. over. Yeah, that's been hard. Not having friends over, but we do have a lot of friends over and this just gives us something extra to play around yes. with and they really enjoyed it so yep. i just yep. thought it would really add to what we have here mm -hmm. and i knew like i said it's the same thing for me would i spend 200 300 400 on that one damn mansions of madness game i'm missing no but i know you're trying to scout it out for my birthday <laughs> yeah i don't know how hard it's gonna be that's this friggin pandemic oh, comes down it's scaring me i continue to check to see if i can get that at a reduced price and buy it and be like here give me that for my birthday <clears> that'd be is... awesome could you do that for me could oh, you I'm, I buy keep, your own birthday gift i keep checking it out i mean it's all from the same pool you know yeah the money's all from the same pool so it doesn't really matter would i recommend this one specifically um yes 350 bucks uh, <laughs> no <laughs> If you it's can get it cheaper than that, uh, yeah. If you can get anything cheaper, yeah. then Re always. Realize what you're getting. Don't, like, I uh, personally, I wanted it for the arcade games. Yes. And I'm very happy with that. Everyone I've tried worked really well. I get to play these arcade games that 
they just they don't exist now. You have no. to play them through emulation. You now. have to. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, birthday gift, two thumbs up. Yeah. I like it. It's awesome. But if if you really really want it, if you're somebody that really really wants it, and that's your style of gaming, you're Give gonna her. spend that much on a console. Give her. So, and then your games are already on there. Yeah. That's what I figure. If you're if you're more of an old school arcade gamer, you're not really into the newer consoles, this might be for you. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Instead of having a room full of arcade machines, or if, or if you don't have, space. if you don't have the space yeah. to put a full arcade machine, I'm I'm gonna build a stand. I'll do a video later on in the year. We're gonna build a stand that will fold all up and I'll hang it on the wall. Somebody's gonna have to put the artwork on it and mm -hmm. make it look nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll bring it out, I'll unfold it. This will fit right in the top of it. It'll be at the right height for an arcade machine and then we'll use the big screen here in the game room. Exactly. And the boys will come over and we'll play and it'll be awesome. Yep. So, all right, till next time guys, keep on gaming. Keep on gaming.